Hi beautiful Pisces, welcome back to my channel. My name is Enchantress Kim and I'm here to do your Halloween reading for the 31st of October 2018 and I'm starting with um, one of the cards from the Fairy Forest by Lucy Cavendish and I thought it was quite appropriate for Halloween with the black cat on here and you've got the witch on the broom and the elf up in the tree and this card that came out for you is the Fairy Godmother. Now when I'm looking at this card I see a lot of uh, music, a lot of abundance, um, a lot of love, but a, lo a lot of spirituality in this card. And um, it's telling me that you, the month of the, um, the Halloween period, you're going to have some kind of discovery or a revelation that's going to be put to you. And when this uh, card comes to you here, Pisces, you just have to be aware that this is time when you'll discover things that have been hidden from you and maybe some of you are going to discover your true self and it's going to be very surprising to you um, so you're going to have moments of heightened perception and this is going to make it um, especially significant for you around Halloween so um, if there's any manipulators out there they're going to get found out because you're going to be able to see through this, these people and um, any lies that are given to you, you'll be able to tell who's lying and who's not. Now, this is going to be uh, a little bit hard for you, but um, you need to have that protection and know that you're safe. So, what it's saying throughout any revelations and insights that you'll be given by the Divine, um, you're going to be protected. So. This card's showing you what it is that you need to know in order to create and foster a life that works for you. So it's very protective. And um, what I have pulled from the Romance Angel cards here is um, reconciliation. So this could be talking about an ex-partner here, Pisces. Um, there is love there, but there's a lot of doubts and um, confusion around this relationship. And definitely someone from the past is returning. Now I have pulled some cards from the Enchanted Lenormand deck here by Caitlin Matthews and Virginia Lee. And the focus of the reading is the letter. Now this is about communication. Um, it could be through handwritten mail uh, or it could come through a text or email like in today's society. And it is to do with a relationship from the past with the ring here. Now, um, this could be coming um, through the internet with the garden, or this could be a letter that you receive in, in a public place. Yeah, it's just some sort of communication, and it is um, you and your thoughts thinking of a male. So this could be for the female viewers out there today. And it is a, a man who is of foreign background. And the letter is about moving forward and making some changes here with the stalk. Now, I'm going to pull some more cards and see look further into this but it is about uh, a man that's wanting a relationship to make some changes and they want to take this publicly so maybe before you were in a relationship that things were hidden um, because of this person perhaps he was with another person and you had to do do this all hush hush but now he wants to come back and make a, a public um, official that you you are together so just bear with me, Pisces, and I'll do some more shuffling and see what else we have here for you. Okay, so this person's had um, some blockages in the past and uh, things have been delayed around communication. Let's see what else we have, please. Spirit. Okay, maybe the, um, they travelled to a mountainous area or there was some delays in moving forward here. This person um, it has, has uh, obstacles in the past, but they want to move forward with you. Now, the tower in the Lenormand deck is about um, protection, just like the uh, Fairy Godmother card said. It's about ambition, so maybe this person was putting their ambition before you as well. This is about reflecting, and it's definitely about a past life connection with the tower here. And there's definitely um, some changes that need to be made as a couple here. Now this could be um, 
something that you've heard on the radio. You may hear a revelation on the radio um, and you decide to make some changes. But there's definitely, um, there were some blockages with changes and moving forward in the past and delays in public. So there was no response in public. And with the relationship, uh, maybe your lover was away, that type of thing. But I feel this man's very lonely but wants to make some changes with you. Now I am going to pull some uh, a card from the Animal Tarot deck and see what our Animal Friends messages are for you to coincide with this. But you will make a discovery about somebody. And with a ship, that's about making a discovery, going on an adventure. So perhaps um, this person's been on an adventure of some kind and now they've discovered, if this is you, Pisces, maybe you've discovered that you want more of a commitment with the person that you didn't uh, treat well in the past. So what do you have for Pisces, please? This one. Okay, now we have the Siberian Husky Dog here, and it is the Ten of Winter. And uh, for some of you, I, I feel like it's a small majority of you, there's an end of a career path and um, could be a project or something like that but for a majority of you it is about a relationship and you're going to have um, a lot of mixed feelings with this person coming back here Pisces you're going to have mixed um, emotions so you're going to feel joy but then you're going to feel sad at the same time there's going to be a bit of relief and then you're going to feel disappointed but you need to put away your fears and um, about these changes that are going to take place and trust that a brighter future awaits for you both. Now I'm just going to look a little bit more into the Ten of Winter for you and uh, let you know what the Siberian Husky Dog is saying. Now at the end of the situ it's the end of a situation and the chance to move on to something that's more exciting for you. Those are the words what bring great joy or sadness. Now, even if um, the ending has left you feeling uncertain or worried, you probably still know deep down inside that there was something better awaiting for you anyway, and you, you just didn't have the courage to make the change. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, it may sound a bit, a bit cliche, but endings really do make a way for new beginnings here, Pisces, and there is wonderful opportunities awaiting for you. Now... <coughs> Sorry, I've had the flu this week. Um, as pets, the these kind of uh, beautiful dogs are loving and they're very smart. And they are very alert. So it's probably asking you just to pay attention here with the store and learn to adapt to different situations. Now, these Siberian Huskies come from the harshest of places. So whether it was in mountains, mountainous areas or snow, that type of thing. It's symbolising um, that you're able to overcome these obstacles and all your challenges. Now, if you, you can see on this card that the, uh, the Siberian Husky um, has control of its own lead. It's got it in its mouth, it's not tied up. So it's also um, dictating about your destiny and knowing that you could be of service to somebody in a career perhaps. Now I'm going to pull one last card for the week of Halloween, 31st of October 2018. And I'm going to be pulling this from the Archangel and Gemstone Guardian cards by Margaret Ann Lembo and see what message the Archangels have for you. So d just remember here, type Pisces, um, that you're in control of your own destiny here. This leads in the the dog's mouth, it's not actually tied up to the post there. Okay. Too many. Thank you. Just bear with me, Pisces. Thank you. Okay. You have the watermelon tourmaline. Now the question this crystal is asking you, are you looking for romance? 
do you need more attention and affection? So maybe that's what you didn't get in the past from this, this relationship. Because um, this is about devotion and being bonded with somebody. But there's definitely um, some communication regarding this. Now it's saying it's time to nurture yourself and treat yourself the way you want others to treat you. And this is tying in with the stork. This is a, a mother figure that's very um, nurturing, knows how to adapt and is very flexible. And uh, it's saying this is a good time to rev up your self-acceptance and increase your willingness to know or to allow more love in your life. So that's um, possibly saying that if you have your doubts here with this person coming back into your life, then something's not right. Maybe it's time to move forward because something better is waiting for you. Now I have an um, affirmation for you to say in your quiet space here, Pisces. And this is from Archangel Chamuel. Now you need to say, my heart is open to giving and receiving love. So you may have put blockages up here with the mountains. And uh, you are transforming the world around you, focusing on your energy and intentions on the divine love. Every word you say and every thought you think travel on the frequency of love. So if you um, still have this person in your heart, but you have your doubts, you need to say it's over dead and buried. And then this is going to allow for the new new love and exciting opportunities to come through for you so that's a beautiful reading around halloween for you pisces i have put a link below if you want me to connect with your personal energies as this may not resonate with all the viewers out there um the link is below and that'll take you to my web page and the different types of readings that i do so love and blessings to you happy halloween bye for now